What's going on guys? Um, it is Wednesday. We're not gonna get a fabricator this afternoon, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the first bar mounted. Um, that's gonna be probably where we're gonna mount our turbos. So we got that packed into place. We're gonna measure it, check it, make sure everything checks out on it. All right, so after getting this on there, we realized we had like two more inches we could go up. So we knocked it off. We're gonna cut two more inches off of it. All right, so we got this tacked on. It's a little shorter than I would have liked or we would have liked because I notched it the wrong way. I'll be able to get that oil line in there. Yeah. So, I don't know, I don't know exactly how much room that's going to require. Yeah, I think that's plenty though, especially if we can, I think our plan is to come here to here, maybe brace it a certain way there, mm -hmm. and then one there angled. We got the front end back on, we got the turbos mounted. They're a lot, a lot sturdier, a lot better. You can really, you can really mash on them. Yeah, it's a lot better. I like it a lot better. We put a lot more bracing in it. Yep. Now if we just get the front end. Gap over there. So what we did is we ran a bar down and then we braced the bar in a couple different places to hold the turbo and the bracket. <coughs> so the turbos now are setting down instead of hanging. With the way they had it before, they had it just bolted up here and it was just kind of hanging. Yeah, they only had this this yeah. bracket here holding it and the ex and the exhaust, which it didn't Puts really a lot of pressure on everything. Yeah, and we got everything else mocked back up, the exhaust and. Um, now we just got to figure out a way to brace the uh, the front end. We shoot over to Race Bar Solutions and the first thing in the morning, talk to Wade, see what all we're going to need to kind of finish mounting the front end and the turbo kit, uh, or the cold side of the turbo kit. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have to go over to Reese's to get like a front end mounting kit, and uh, yeah, we'll get all that and get back after it. just got back from Reese's and Race Bar Solution. Reese had the front end mounting kits for us already in a pack. It was perfect, saved us from having to order it and save some time. Um, shout out to Wade over at Race Bar Solutions for always hooking us up and making sure we got what we need uh, for the Joker. Um, something you missed is I went ahead and made these brackets, um, these mounting brackets. Um, nothing crazy, nothing too special, right? So this is the same thing, just kind of mocked up, tack welded to make sure everything's going to be straight on it. And then the way this is going to work is we can bolt it on here and we'll have as much adjustment as we're going to need. So that'll bolt or tack there, go over under the turbo, keep going right there. That part will be bolted on like this. And then our bar will slide in there. Now everything in the front end will be mounted to this bar. So it'll pretty much, yeah, all, all the framework will be mounted off of this bar, which will be down here. Doing what you can what you got, all right? That's right. Nice hoodie. Oh, right, Mary. Turn around. Yeah. That's not saying though, man. The adjustment you got with that is. Cause you know I can't see shit. Something we learned from David Reese is that these two bars, this bar and this bar, it comes down here. 
they're not as strong as you think. You can actually wiggle them. Uh, so we, it was kind of a good thing that we went ahead and added that uh, like cross member. It'll kind of stiffen everything up and now we can't really move it. Plus it's going to support our turbos. So that was a good move, uh, a happy accident, if you will. Yeah, David told us it was loose and we're like, no, nah, it's not loose. No. No, it's good and sturdy. It's like, it's loose. No. Went back, grabbed it, it's loose. We got that fixed too, luckily. So what we're going to do is we ended up keeping these tabs here that were already here. We're going to just weld those in a little bit better. Um, we'll leave the bolt head in it so nothing, no water or anything gets we'll in it. We'll weld the bolt head in it too. Yeah, we'll weld close the bolt head up and close it entirely up. We'll weld everything else up. That way, all you have to do is unbolt the turbo from the flange, unbolt the two bolts up under, and you can lift the turbo right off the entire mounting system. So it should be pretty easy to work on. Um, all this is staying. Right. Yeah, everything will stay. Right, everything will stay. The only thing that we were worried about were was the oil drain back um, on the bottom side of the turbo, it's but right. it's it's not that bad at all. So we've got plenty of room to work, which was great. We had this right here fixed by David. David also fixed this. Yeah, yeah, we took this great. to David. We didn't really know what to do because the throttle body didn't bolt up. It was a different flange, and what you see a lot of the times is people will take a flange that matches this bolt pattern and a flange that matches this bolt pattern and put it in between a piece of aluminum piping and that just kind of is not what we wanted we really wanted to marry up so he built us up um, built up plenty of material to drill and tap through and we bolted it right up luckily the o-ring matched up and everything so it looks good mounts up perfect Just like that. It's better. Yeah. Now if we just get it on there level and straight. So we got our mounting tabs on, just tacked on, and that's going to look good. So this will be the bar that supports all the framework for the uh, front end. So now everything else off that goes to the front end, all of our little plates like this that will be uh, fiberglassed into the front end will attach to that. I guess mount the front end, take some measurements, figure out where we're going to put our plates, and go to those plates. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah. That's what I like. It's a lot cleaner. So right. A full day is worth of work. You have made it way simpler to take the turbos and everything apart, and you have made it way simpler to take the front end on. That's right. So we're still going to use those. So it'll still be hard mounted, but at least it'll be easier and a little bit more sturdy to remove. All right. So we've got some mounted already. Got a tab going there. Same on this side. They both match. Don't laugh at the tack. That'll be one brace bar. Whoop. And that'll be the other. We're going to do another one up here somewhere and we'll brace the top and that should be it for each side.
So what we did is what you see, what you see in the floor that I just pulled off is going to be mounted in the bumper. We're going to fiberglass it in. All these plates will be fiberglassed into the bumper, so it'll be a part of the bumper, and this will never leave the bumper. Um, the fenders are mounted to the bumper, and they're mounted via these tabs here, so we didn't have to worry about that, luckily. Uh, what we did do is we got the turbos mounted correctly. Uh, we got the, I don't really, I'm not really sure what bar you would call this, but we got it finished up. We ended up leaving this tab, mounting it there as well. We did our bumper support, or our, I don't really know what you would call this, guide, bumper guide, front end guide plates, whatever you want to call them. We did mess up, which not really, we can cut them and make them fit, but these plates here are guide plates to go on this bar, and it just kind of helps guide your front end and keeps it from moving side to side, so. So not bad for a bunch of engine builders. We're not fab people by no means, fab guys by no means, but I think we did all right. Big shout out to David Reese for the guidance. As far as we're gonna get today, we're fixing to close it up. Obviously it's nighttime outside. Um, anything you guys wanna add? Not about, we don't wanna go over the riveted bumper. We don't wanna do this no more. <laughs> no we more. Don't do, we don't wanna be fab guys. <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. Wasn't it's bad. going behind people that really sucks. And yeah, it's whatever you spend all day already fixing a mistake and you feel good about fixing that one now you want to start messing with the front end and now you got to fix more mistakes so yes. it's like every time you turn around there's something else so yeah and we hadn't even got into that so hey, yep. john so. was happy with his front end then he went to start messing with his bumper and the fenders now we're going home yeah so <laughs> we're going home appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you on the next one